Hello guys and girls, Voices from the Dark here, welcome back to the Champion of Cyrodiil Challenge. That was a blind, a blind jump into nothingness. We are here in Breville, sneaking around in our shrouded armor. And I am looking to do a quest, but what quest? Well, I want to do the quest caught in the hunt. Because we heard from a woman in town that her husband owes a great deal of money to this orc. And now he's gone missing, so we're gonna go to the Lonely Suitor Lodge and we're gonna see if we can find this orc and get to know where the husband's at, really. Oh, look at that armor. Greetings, Blackwood Company. What? Blackwood Company right there. How are you today? We'll get to see them in the fighter skills. Heard any news from the other provinces? I've Is heard you're... that the great houses of Morrowind are in upheaval. Invisible, man? Ruins. Hey. Yeah, what do you want? You're invisible. That's cool. Alright, I want to talk about Alarin. None of your damn business. I'd tell you if I liked you. And I don't. There are always ways to persuade say you. Say what you're going to say. I can't see his facial expression though. Let's... Actually, I think he likes yeah. jokes and boasting. Oh, please. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. Oh, please. Is that so? Yes, it is. Don't... Not bad. <laughs> Not, not bad at all. Not bad. <laughs> not. He not loves me. That, <laughs> you can't scare me. Says the ghost. Maybe I know him. Maybe I don't. But since you're so interested, I know something that could jar my memory. And what's that? I just learned that a family heirloom, the axe of Dragol, which one of my stupid relatives lost is located on Fort Grief Island in Nibbin Bay. My informant tells me it's hidden in the main keep at the center. Don't know what's guarding it, but I'm sure you can handle it. If you go there and bring it back to me, I'll tell you exactly where Alaron is. Just your standard fetch quest, then. And if I don't return it? Then Alaron may not be coming home from his, uh, journey for a very long time. Like, permanently. Whenever you're ready, and it better be soon, I'll have a boat waiting for you to get to Fort Grief Island. Okay, tell me about this axe. Yeah, it's a battle axe with the word Dragal carved into the haft. Huge, you can't miss it. I ain't gonna draw you a picture. Alright. Don't More you have something to find? Are you ready to go to the boat? Yes. Fine. I have it waiting for you at the dock next to the magic shop. Now get out of my sight. All right. Jeez. Lucky I'm not Take making care. you swim. Farewell. Farewell. Can I help you? Everybody's engaging in jolly conversation about what books they have read recently. Uh, well, the weather here sucks. Hopefully we can escape from that. We're just gonna... Jump on the boat there and take a little trip to Fort Grief Island where the sun's always shining and the plot twists are definitely not real. Alright, let's go. Let's go to Fort Grief. This won't be your standard fetch quest. Let's just say there's a little twist. I've arrived at Fort Grief. Here we are. So we have a couple of new quests. No, sorry. Spells that we got in the last episode. We got a more powerful calming spell, which could be wonderful. I think there will be a lot of humanoids in here, so I think I'm gonna do Calming Touch. And then we're going to, instead of doing Deathly Visage, I want to try out the Rage spell a little bit more, I think. Because with some... Rage and... Ooh, wait, what about Demoralize? What's the point of Demoralize when you got Calm, though? It just seems like Demoralize is mostly better. Okay. Oh, this is a good sign. Skate is open elsewhere. Well, let's get going, boys. Skeleton here. I wonder if that's the same skeleton up on the wall. It is. He just lost his head there. Oh. Well, there's Alarin. Oh, no. It appears as though Kurdan has tricked another poor soul with his axe story. <gasps> the axe? You haven't guessed it yet. There never was any axe of Dragal. It was just a ruse to lure you out here. I fell for the same trick. In my case, he told me if I retrieved the axe, he'd erase my debts. I was such an idiot to believe him. 
You're now the prey in Kurdan's insane hunt, just like I am. And here we'll most likely die. The hunt? Kurdan doesn't make most of his money being a simple usurer. He also invented what he calls the Hunter's Run. People pay him a great deal of money to hunt and kill living human prey. No questions asked, and he takes care of the bodies. He uses the dungeons under Fort Grief as the hunting grounds. I was placed here because he knew someone would go looking for me. I'm sorry you got mixed up in all of this. I hope you can fight. It's our only chance of escaping alive. I have a boat nearby. Don't bother. The door to this place is now locked. The only way to get out is by descending into the hunter's run and killing the hunters. One of them will have the key to the door. That's Kurdan's rules. It's the only way we can win. I wish I could help more, but I can't fight. I've never held a weapon before in my life. Please, get us out of here. <sighs> this quest is kind of cool, actually. I like the Kurdan premise. Treacherous. Be wary, friend. I really like I really like the setup to this quest here. Just seems like a standard. Okay, well I can tell you about this. If you go fetch my thing, it's like, oh, now you're part of the hunt. You will get hunted down. Ooh. Okay, okay, we gotta care a little bit about fashion, okay? And holy heck, look at Oh! Oh -hoo. Guess who's gonna be enchanting this robe later on? That's cool. Okay, well. If they want to come at me, they will be... They can feel free to. I actually want to keep my Deathly Visage on too. I really, really like invisibility. Touch of Rage is going to be 7 instead. We are going to get... Blade of Woe. With some poison on it. Actually, we are carrying a lot. Oh boy. Yeah, maybe I should actually drop you some items. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna drop a couple of items here outside, I think. Boop. Just so I can actually... So I'm not worn down as much while I'm inside this place. Oh boy. Should have considered that. Actually, let's just drop all of these weapons as well. Just to make sure that we can run around and be free down there. Without being worn down by all manner of beasts. Alright, there we go. Don't you dare steal any of it. I think I, I can come back out here. We'll just make a save and... We'll get through it. To it, not... Th oh, through to it and through it. That we will. We've almost been playing for 30 hours now on this save. And about 22 of them have been on camera, which means that the other 8 have just been me. Setting up for episodes or just grinding off camera. It's 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 a reasonable time, and we've just barely gotten started. That's the thing. Whoop! Part of me is scared that I'll come to a burnout situation where I'm just like, I don't want to play Oblivion anymore. But I, I, that's that's a risk with any big project you take on, really. That it is. Secure. We. Oh. Oh, oh, sorry. Ooh. Shadow Banish Wine! Two bottles! Well, that's four out of six then. That's awesome. Okay, we almost have all the, the wine that we need now. Gotta love it. Okay. Well, should we maybe... We'll drop those on the ground here. Alright. You must get us out of here. I'm going, buddy. The Hunter's Run. Alright. Actually, Chameleon might fare me better here, but if we want to get out, we're going to have to get a key. I can draw my blade though, right? Yeah. Ah ha ha! What do you say to that, huh? <laughs> that was really good. I wonder if I could calm him. Oh, I could. Did you see that kill? Sneak up, stab him in the back with a poison dagger, keep him busy with the zombie. Alright, that was the first key. Ooh, chainmail is actually quite good considering its weight. Oh, I, 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 I can't explain how, how, how much I'm enjoying this. I really can't. 
Nej. No. Gosh darn it, I thought I hotkeyed the poison, didn't I? I was so sure I hotkeyed my poison. Oh well. There's a rat over there. Ratty Roo. I think I'll ignore that for now. Wait, wasn't I just invisible? All oh, right, I forgot I have my poison on. <laughs> it's a bit of an overkill. I actually want to see if I can get a sneak attack in on this rat here. That's not bad. Getting a sneak attack on him is not awful. We also finished him rather quickly. Okay. Let's keep going. Oh, that was straight past my face. Okay, we're gonna keep going. Gonna keep going then. Yeah, somebody set up traps on that bridge there to get me. Ooh, we're... You know what spell we should be casting out right now? Minor life detection. Doesn't last long, but I think it might last long enough. There's nothing in this section. All right. I wanna try and do this sneakily. Like I could just run through and spawn a Daedroth in their face, but come on, we gotta, we gotta, I wanna, I want the hunter, the hunters to become the hunted. That's what we wanna do here. So let's. Let's not fall into the hole. Oh, shit! Because I was crouch jumping, you jump a lot less successfully. <gasps> Worth it! If I'm gonna get a Nurn root, I'll take it. Okay, so now I'm in the water under the bridge. So this is where you would end up if you fell off the bridge. Okay. Let's see. Let's make our way back up. Is my dagger out? Okay, my dagger is out right now. About 15 seconds left of invisibility. So, wait, where am I now? I am very confused by these layouts, I'm gonna be honest. Jump over that. He's around here somewhere. He has to be around here somewhere. I'm just gonna heal up just in case. Pop minor life detection. Yep. Let's go get him, boys. Gotcha! What do you say to that, huh? Wait, 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 wait. Calm down! Oh shit, he's too powerful for calm! He's too powerful for calm! Uh, I gotta trip the wires and trap him in his own gas. <laughs> How does that feel, huh? You like that? You like being gassed by your own- Oh. Oh boy! Oh! <laughs> Looks like somebody fell on their own spikes, did you, buddy? Why is he still coming after me? You had a poison on you! I- Oh, no, he's coming for me! No! Damn it! I should have healed up. I was having too much fun. Uh That was precious. Are you kidding me? I'm here! Okay, I'll, I'll make my way back. Okay, I have located the man. He's right... here. <laughs> Good night! Got him! Okay. And now... Now comes the fun part. He's gonna start chasing me into these tiny tunnels. So... Let's spawn a little bit of an obstacle, shall we? <laughs> Let me see you kill this bad boy. Who's the hunted now, bitch? 
Good job, buddy. Good job. I'll be taking your gear. Potion of healing. Another key. Wonderful thing, sorry, Hedge. And then we shall get the light and load spell. You did such a good job, little Deidre. Yes, you did. Yes, you did, Deidre. I'm still... David! David the Daedroth, of course! Thanks, David. Is that all? Oh, Wonderful. So that's the next hunter down. I still really, like... If I meet an opponent who's calmable, like, we've won the battle. I can just stab them with poison and just calm them and they'll be like, Can't attack, but poison! Is affecting me. So many fun ways to do it. The Hunter's Abyss. So we had to use the Hunter's Run keys here to go deeper. Alright, there's a little rat over here. Two of them, in fact. Let Zombie take care of them. What is this trap, I wonder? I'm not sure, but I don't want to step it. Although I feel like my Zombo might. Whoop! Ow, 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 ow. Let's see, can I poison without going out of invisibility? That's nice. Okay, more trip wires. Let's not trip them. Anybody down in this little chamber? Okay, no. So we can safely go out of our invisibility. Feels fun to be this sneaky little rogue here. Trying to adapt some more different playstyles despite being primarily a mage and a conjurer at that. Ah, that's why invisibility sucks. Ooh. A dagger won't do here. We need something else. Let's get a silver bow, some arrows of ember. Let's poison this baby up. Ah! Gotcha! Alright, he's coming. Get ready for the calming. Calm! He's not being calmed! Alright, only one thing to do. Whoosh. Where am I? Indeed. What a mystery! I'm invisible, don't you see? Oh wait, you can't see. And then... <laughs> Death is approaching. Skirting around in the shadows. Ah! Got him! Alright. Another poison effect has been applied. <laughs> oh, this poor fool. He's been poisoned twice now. And he's still standing. That's impressive, actually. I defeated all of the hunters. Kurdan's Orc Hunter. Look at this dwarven gear right here. This is gonna fetch a nice profit for us. If we can carry all of this. We got the door that can help us. The door. We got the key for the door that'll help us get off this bloody island. Alright. Not too bad. That went rather well. Didn't really get a lot of use for Frenzy here, but... Calm was helpful a little bit, I just picked up a random skull. Thinking it was a skeleton I could loot. And I'm just not gonna do anything about it. Come on, tell me you've hid something in the pool. Nothing in the pool? Alright. It's fine. I'll just live with the disappointment, I suppose. Surely you've hidden some goodies here. Somewhere. Or not. I mean, you don't have to. It'd be nice. Oh, there we go. Goodies. Knew they were hiding some goodies from me. They always are. The hunters became the hunted. Being able to sneak up on people, like, even just... The sneak attack bonus honestly isn't even that strong with these weapons. It's more just feeling badass, I guess. That's what I like about it. Oh, there was a chest here I missed the first time around. Alright. Well then. I think now we should be able to get out. And I think we got most of the 
most of the treasures in here. Even if we didn't. We shall survive. We got some good loot though, even though we have so much loot now also laying outside. I don't know how I'll bring it all back to town. Wait, didn't I? I got I got a key though, didn't I? Was that the wrong key? Because I am fairly sure I picked up a key. Did I not? Hold on. I found a key. All right, I should return to him. I thought I had to go and do something there. Oh well, let's just go and return to him. Al oh. Well. Looks like Aloran's not around anymore. He just got struck down by Mr. Dragol himself. I actually forgotten that happens. Well, if that's how he wishes to do things, sure, we can do things like that. I think he actually wants to talk to me first. You know what, let's, let's indulge him if he wishes to have a conversation. I think I'll listen to like, if, if, if a quest NPC wants to have like some badass monologue, I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll let him. But I will have a poison blade ready. That I will. Wait, am I out of poisons? No, right, I just changed the hotkey, that, that makes sense. Okay, then we're gonna definitely have a Daedroth ready for you, so screw you. Dragol? I'm impressed that you killed all my clients. Doesn't matter. More will come along with their purses fat with gold and hearts lusting for blood. Too bad about Aloran. Didn't need him anymore now that you're here. At least now he's free of his debt. <laughs> but I won your game. Do you really think I could afford to let you leave here? The key you found is a fake. No prey has ever left this island alive. And I aim to keep it that way. You were right about one thing, though. This is my game, and I'm changing the rules. Die, Kerr! Ah! <gasps> oh, shit, I can't see him. I can't... Whoa. My Daedroth can, though. Holy heck! <laughs> oh, shit, he hired Khajiit assassins. Daedroth, get him, boy. He knocked him out in two blows. Yo, let me in on the action a little. Look at this. Oh. Rajira the Kenai. Oh. Holy heck, that was amazing! You bro Dwarven bow, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and there's so much loot here on this island. I I don't know how I'm gonna get away with all of this. Do I have like some sort of feather potion of any kind? Maybe I made something. No, I made a few potions when I was replaying, but nothing of the sort. Well, we do have one spell that can help us a little bit. For the five points, that won't do much. Oh boy. Well, I have to leave behind so much awesome loot. It's looking like I might... I mean, I could always return here. That's a possibility, definitely. So, I, sh I shouldn't fret too much. Alright. So, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna wait around a little bit, just to get our health and all of our stats back up. We're going to pop both of our Ease Burden spells. We're going to decide on what to drop. And I'm going to drop these Dwarven Greaves. Uh, they're, they're so nice. And then we're... Toss them down with the rest of the pile. Wonderful. Then we'll just do one final inspection and looks looks pretty good. Kurdan almost died too quickly to... Curus of the Assassin. 
That's why he was constantly invisible. I thought it was a spell or something. I guess maybe the game randomly gives him a piece of armor and he just so happened to get an armor with that effect. There we go. Now we got the right key at least. So that's something. But, but there's so much loot. I, I think I can come back and pick up this loot here later on. So I picked up gloves weighing one and suddenly I weighed two. That's the thing. Boop. There we go. We've activated the gate to Fort Grief. Okay. Good. That's an enjoyable quest, though. Very, very enjoyable little quest with a few twists along the way. Cool premise. Sorry about that, Mr. Alleran. I, I have to come back to this stuff, though. I don't think it despawns. But right now, we have to go and carry all of this junk to a vendor. Hopefully, I can take the boat to get back to Fort Grief easily. It's a little bit of a swim, if not. Oh, boy. Alright, let's get in the boat. And let's head back to town. Alright, it's middle of the night. Let's see, what do we do, what do we do? I think first and foremost, I want to stash away these goods. You see this crate right here? It's not a safe container at all. Really doubt that's a... it's... Yeah, it's not a safe container. Safe containers be damned. Right now, I just have to test out my theory. So we're going to stash away all of these things just to the point where I can go and pick up the rest of the goods that are still laying around on the island. Get out of here. All of you, you are worthless to me. It's not true, but I don't need you at the moment. Okay. Now I should have some more space. Can I use the boat to get back? Ooh, yes, you can use that as a quick and easy way to get back to Fort Grief. Wonderful. Just gotta make sure that my goods are still here. So I can have them all back in town for an easier, easier time selling. Everything is here. Still picking up everything. That's gonna be a thing. Ooh, almost didn't see this one. So, I've been looking on the level creatures list a little bit. Right now we're level seven, right? At level eight is when we start to encounter trolls in dungeons instead of imps. So we're right on the threshold to more difficult things. And that's okay, because we're getting quite powerful, but I would really, really like to get the recommendations out of the way before we have that final level. But I think during one of the recommendation quests, the one in Anvil, you have to sleep. So we'll do the next level up during the Anvil recommendation, I think. Poor Alaron. He didn't have the most intelligent look on his face, but still, he was, he was a good man. Let's see, have I gotten everything? Maybe I should have just stored all of this inside somewhere instead. There we go, novice, mortar, and pestle. Does it seem like I have everything now? I hope I do. We have all of those. We have the Shadow Banish wine, the other wine that I dropped. Those repair hammers. I think we're pretty good. Let me just have a quick look at the skill diary. Halfway to level nine. All right, that's fine. We got time, baby. We got time. Well, if that's... If that is all... Hopefully there's nothing here I missed. And even if it is and you point it out, I won't see it in time, but... I think I got the most important... Loot... That we left behind. We didn't drop anything essential other than the Shadow Banish wine, and... I did get all four bottles with me back. Good. It's not like there's only six bottles of them, but... You can go and trade them in once you even find more after the quest is done for a little bit of extra cash, so... I'm gonna keep as many as possible. There we go. And now if we check the crates... Everything is here. Good, good, good. So I'm gonna take all of this. We're gonna wait around until morning. I don't trust leaving items in containers, because containers occasionally respawn the items inside, overriding whatever's there. So now we have to wait around long enough to find a shop that's open. And then we gotta go to... I don't know where the general goods store is in town, honestly. It's a bit of a... A bit of a problem. 
And then we are going to pop both of our spells. Figure out how much I would be able to carry over to the shop. Let's put away weapons for now. Until we reach a point of being able to carry. Almost there. Almost there. The red silk stuff. There we go. Okay. Now we gotta go searching for that general store. We got a lot of goods okay. right now. A lot of stuff to sell. And there we go. What's the general good store in this place? The fair deal. Sounds wonderful. Let's see who runs this place and let's charm them up the wall. Oh my, Wood Elf. Hey. You'll always get a fair deal here. I'm Nilowin. What can I get you? Well, a rumor? Varan Vermori really has a silver tongue. What has he been doing to the girls around town? Have a look around. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. Fortify intelligence and personality five points, but drain your willpower. For 10,000, who wants that? I'm sorry, lady, but you're crazy. That you are. There's no way around it. She's 800. How good is she as a merchant? She's an apprentice. All right. That's fair. Take care. Take care. I'm not quite done with you, woman. Get over here. Because now we have even more spells that we can cast out. We have Voice of Rapture. We have Seductive Charm. We have Beguiling Touch. I might not always need all three, but I think maybe I will for this chick. Then we're going to summon our weakest creature, a Scamp. Then we are going to absorb his Mercantile. And then we're going to make sure that we wear our own robes of Glib Tongues. And there we go. It's my pleasure. Please continue. She loves me. Certainly. That's how it's done. Have a look around. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. Sure thing, girl. Let's start by pushing it to 75 and selling off something that's not worth a lot just to test for helmets. She agrees. Let's push it up to 77 and sell some leather boots. She agrees. Let's push it up to 79. Get this gauntlet sold. She agrees. Let's push it up to 81%. I can't afford to do that. Okay, so is 80 good? 80 is the limit. Okay. Well, that's, that's quaint. So, I'm gonna sell off all of our stuff. Buy some ingredients, make some potions, sell those potions, run back to the crate, and then repeat that process until our bags are empty and we can continue adventuring. Sounds good? Sounds good. Let's do it. It seems that I've made a good bit of gold. 44,000 is not bad. We're not gonna start using... We're now gonna start using the dwarven bow instead of the silver bow. And we're gonna keep the red silk gear because it looks awesome. I'm not gonna sell off the cures of the assassin because I can't get a full price here and therefore... We are simply not going to sell it. Ta-ta. Tell your friends about me. Maybe I will. You too. Just kidding. Hee. Bye-bye. Well then, guys and girls. I think we're going to conclude today's episode in just a little bit, actually. Let's just go get our blessing from the lucky old lady. Mwah. There we go. Wonderful. Whoop. Whoop. What are we going to be doing next episode? Well... We're gonna raid Breville's secret chests. Aha! Not quite. Instead, I was thinking we could perhaps do the Forlorn Watchman or whatever else we feel like doing when that time comes. It's fun to be in a new city with new possibilities for adventure. So hopefully you will tune in to the next episode. Have a still good day. Take care and stay awesome. But most importantly, everybody, stay dark. Goodbye.